As a heart surgeon, I started to wonder, can alpha-gal syndrome affect our hearts or our blood vessels? Well, it turns out there's actually a relationship between alpha-gal and our cardiovascular system. Researchers at the University of Virginia found that those who were allergic to the alpha-gal molecule were more likely to have plaque in their arteries. And that plaque was more likely to be unstable, which means it can rupture and cause heart attacks and strokes and kidney issues and a bunch of problems. More specifically for heart surgery, my specialty, the carbohydrate alpha-gal is found in the meat of non-primate animals. You probably all know this, right? But it can be in cow's milk, and it can be cat and dog dander, right? Saliva. Additionally, delayed allergic reactions to alpha-gal, which includes some perioperative medications, uh, are out there. They can be formularies. They contain inactive ingredients, such as gelatin or glycerin or, or stearate. These are products that we use in medicine quite a bit. And also bovine and porcine prepared heparin, which we need for open heart surgery. It thins the blood. It can be in biologic meshes. Cat gut sutures, some of the material we, we use to hold people together. Surgical powders for our hands um, and xenografts and porcine derived heart valves. I mean, if you don't know for sure, maybe you should opt for a heart valve that's not made from real tig, pig leaflet tissue because there's a possibility it might cause reactions. Increasing awareness and knowledge regarding alpha-gal allergy is the first step in this selection of anesthetic agents and providing anesthesia techniques that will not trigger an immune response. So it colors the entire process. So remember, alpha-gal seems to be affecting those under the age of 65 a lot. So if you or a loved one think you may be allergic to red meat, it's important to get tested and educate all of us who are especially involved in the management of your heart. It might just save your life.